Um, here's a song I, I wrote um, about my, my, my... I was married before Beth uh, for 10 years, and she was married to somebody else before me for 10 years. And then we got together, it was all great. But uh, my first marriage was great too, for like nine and a half years, it was really great. But that last bit was really tough, and hard to say the least. And uh, my wife, uh, I lived in this U-shaped courtyard like that, an old, old buildings in Toronto. I was the superintendent for the longest time. And uh, at any rate, uh, my, my, I, I was also moving on the weekend. I, I had a job working for a moving company. And uh, the guy's name for real was Tom Trucker. No kidding. And then that was his real name, no kidding. And he ate cloves of garlic all, all winter just to keep the, uh, well, every human being near him uh, sick, to tell you the truth. But at any rate, I, I, diver I digress. Uh, anyway, I, I brought home a guy who was, uh, had moved into the co-op just across from me, you know, down like that. And, uh, and that was the end of it. She fell for him, and that was it. So she moved from my apartment to his apartment. Like that. Oh, bad. So I discovered the back door of our apartment, and I just kept going out the back door, because I thought, man, I just don't want to see her, you know. And terrible acrimony at first, and then that just kind of emptiness, really, you know, and, uh, and angst after that. But it went about three, three months went by before I actually, you know, talked to her again. And uh, I remember thinking to myself, you know, how much of that love could possibly be left? You know, there has to be something left. There just has to be. Because I, I couldn't have loved anybody more than I loved Abby at that time, and she and me, I think. You know, we didn't make it, but we did plan for the long run. But anyway, I thought, you can't love anybody that much and have all of it gone just like that. And I wondered what would happen. So I finally met her on Sumac Street. She was walking down, and I was walking up. And, she was, and I just thought, well, here it comes. And we just stood there, and we had a lovely chat. Very pleasant indeed, you know. We talked like total strangers. So I had my answer how much love was left. Zero, nothing, you know, <laughs> nada, zilch, nothing. I said, I was really pangy, I must admit. But she had just gone somewhere else, as simple as that. Love had just left me and got right there. I thought, well, that's what love does the best, I suppose. So I went home that night, and I, I wrote this song for her. I never told her, of course, and I don't think she's ever heard it. I've never spoken to her again. But uh, this song was uh, it's often used as a first dance when I first wrote it, but I thought, Jesus, Mark, if this is your first dance, it's the kiss of death for your first dance. So, uh, well, the melody is nice, I must admit. But, uh, anyway, the song is called Sumac Street. <laughs> Never mind, baby, 
that's gonna do it again. Oh, thank you.